as a parent, you know that serve and return is working when you and your child are tuned into each other. What it means is that, that um, you, you, you kind of sense signals from your child. Uh, you, you engage in things together um, and you know, you know how, to, how to kind of be connected and to be cued in. Um, when children are babies, that's, that's through gaze, it's through, it's through facial expressions, it's through cooing and, and making sounds. It's, it's basically getting to know each other, right? In the beginning, um, the, the responsibility is more on the adult's side than the child's side. Um, and then over time, as you get to know each other and you have that kind of closeness and you can kind of sense the interaction, um, that is literally shaping the, circuit, the developing circuitry of the child's brain. It's not, it's not just nice and it's not just something that feels good. The degree to which it's engaged and responsive is literally creating strong brain circuitry. And the extent to which there may not be a sense of connection, the extent to which um, there isn't this you know, real serve and return interaction, um, that will signal danger to a child's brain because the brain is expecting responsiveness.